Well, hey guys, Steven here, Four Oaks Crafts, and today I got a sweet project for you. I'm gonna show you how to make a candy dispenser made out of red oak in a mason jar. It only takes a few tools and a, and a few hours of your afternoon. This is a great project to do with your kids. So grab your jelly beans and let's get started. Okay, here are the boards that you're gonna need for this project. You really only need three boards, and I'm, I'm showing the actual dimensions here, but the cool thing is you can go down to your home improvement store and get these three boards, and uh, you can get them in pine, you can get them in poplar, and you get them in red oak, and I just chose red oak just because I, I like red oak. But the cool thing about this is that, that all you gotta do with these boards is cross cut them. Uh, you're not going to have to do any kind of uh, rip cuts. Uh, everything is cross cut and then that base you will need to do a curve cut using a band saw or a uh, jigsaw. The total uh, cost of materials including the mason jar and the knob and the boards amounted to $16.70. Here is the uh, recommended tools and supplies for this project. And you notice I've given you a few options here just in case you don't have the same kind of tools that I do. Okay, let's begin this project by measuring out our boards. And I'm going to take them over to the miter saw and make our cuts. Okay, now that we've got the uh, boards uh, cut out for the uh, candy dispenser, I'm going to add a little bit of wood glue. <clears throat> Go ahead and line them up on the, the middle board, and then I'm going to use my uh, electric nail gun with one and one quarter inch uh, brad nails and start uh, putting the candy dispenser together. Okay, now I'm going to add the top board. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of wood glue and spread that out. And then we're going to attach it to the other boards. Put it over the slider. And I'm going to use my nail gun. I'm just going to probably put about uh, up to six brad nails to attach this top board. And now I'm going to slide, uh, get that slider out. It's a little bit hard right now, but I'm going to sand it, make it easier to slide in and out. And there you have it. Now I'm going to uh, mark the center of this top. This is going to be the hole for the candy dispenser. Okay, in this clip, I'm going ahead and drilling a uh, small indent hole for my dowels. And I'm going to use half inch dowels. Uh, they're only cut at about half inch length and these are going to serve as uh, stoppers. So here I've went ahead and glued one of them in and this is going to be the front part of the slider, front stop. And that sets me up to where now I can go ahead and use my one inch Forstner bit. And I'm going to go ahead and drill uh, down into the slider, but not all the way through at this point, but I am going to drill part way. So I'm going to get my hole all, all the way through that top board and start into the slider. And here I pulled the slider out and uh, got a waste piece of board under it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drill all the way through the slider so the hole goes all the way through. Okay, this board is going to be the baseboard, and what I'm doing here is using a uh, large Forstner bit to go ahead and just kind of dig out. Uh, this is going to be the little tray piece where the candy uh, lands when it comes out of the dispenser. And I uh, did have to do a little bit of cleanup here using a couple of chisels. Uh, another way you could have done this perhaps is just use a, a router or some other tool, but uh, I used a couple of chisels and just kind of finished this tray up. 
uh, took a little bit more work, had to do a little bit more uh, work with the chisels and then a little extra sanding, but it turned out pretty well. I used a round bowl to trace the uh, profile on the front of this baseboard, and here you can see that I'm uh, using the bandsaw to cut that piece out. Okay, now it's time to just take this uh, candy dispenser body over to the uh, belt sander and just sand uh, each side down until I got everything uh, nice and flush. And here I'm going to go ahead and sand uh, that baseboard, get rid of all those rough uh, bandsaw cuts. Okay, here I am with the uh, Dremel, and this is the uh, candy dispenser hole in the slider, because what you want to do here is to use that Dremel to give it about a 45 degree bevel. And this is just going to help the candy, uh, as it comes down, drop down, it's going to help it slide through the candy dispenser better. And here's a picture of kind of showing a top view of how the candy dispenser works, and you see the, the stop there and see how the holes line up. Okay, here I am uh, going ahead and uh, gluing and nailing the uh, baseboard on. I probably used about seven uh, brad nails here, but you just want to make sure you get that tray, you know, in alignment as you're doing that. And uh, after I did that, I got the orbital sander out and just went over it real well, getting rid of those sharp edges and you know, going over it with some uh, finer sandpaper to where it looked better. All right, now it's time to add that mason jar lid. I just drilled uh, four small holes in the metal part of the lid and used some small wood screws to uh, fasten it on there. Just make sure it's lined up well with the candy dispenser hole. And here I am adding a uh, handle, decorative handle that I got from Hobby Lobby to the front to it, so I can push it out, pull it out easier. You can see that uh, stop now again. And another view of, top view of how this is going to work. You see how the candy drops down into that hole in the slider and you pull it out. Okay, and here we are, kind of the final step of adding a finish. And you could probably do uh, several kind of finishes. I wanted a uh, food safe uh, finish for mine, so I simply used my uh, beeswax and uh, mineral oil mixture. Put that on there real good, worked it in the wood, uh, let it sit, and then come back uh, you know, a few hours later, wipe off the excess, and use a clean paper towel to buff it and just give it a good shine. Okay, as a final step here, I'm going to go ahead and glue that uh, second uh, stop in, that dowel, and test it out. So now I've got a stop going both ways so the slider won't come out. And here's a side view to see how both the stops work going either way. Okay, now it's time to test this baby out. Uh, I'm going to add some M&Ms and try those. Uh, but one thing you want to do is be careful. Just uh, hold on to it tight, turn it over, screw that mason jar lid in there, and then carefully turn it back over, and it should be ready. Now let's give it a test. We're going to push the slider in. M&Ms drop down, pull it out, and they fall into the tray. It works. Well, that's a wrap for this project, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you do this project, I'd love to see some pictures, so post them in the comments uh, below. Thank you for watching.